as you can see here this is our current cover of our 2019 budget binder and this is the one that we currently sell in our shop so before we dig in i want to go over what is a budget binder a budget binder is a resource for tracking your spending as well as managing and planning your financial goals why do you need a budget binder i always recommend a budget binder to use because it helps you keep track of your income and your expenses it helps you manage your finances and pay off any debt. A budget binder helps you keep track of every penny earned and every penny spent. So as you can see, it is a very important tool when it comes to finances, right? So who needs a budget binder? Anyone that spends and earn money. Okay, so Joyce, I'm gonna set income. Do I need a budget binder? Yes, you need a binder. No matter your income, if you are earning and spending, keeping track of your finances is important. So therefore, you do need a binder. Another question, am I living paycheck to paycheck? I have no clue how to use a budget binder. Well, the good news is that right now, I am going to show you how you can use this tool to help you stop living paycheck to paycheck. When you open our budget binder, first thing you're going to notice, it's uh, a set of sheets that are named yearly yearly financial planning sheet, yearly financial goals, picture to picture calendar, things like that, right? So to help you understand how to start a budget planner, I am going to go over each sheet that's in this um, binder for you. So to help you understand, and I will also in the future show you, answer your questions if you have any. So let's begin. First of all, before you even start printing and, and setting up, you need to make sure that you understand that you are going to need a calculator. You're going to need a three ring binder unless you're planning on sending this to um, Office Depot or Staples to get print. Once you have your binder printed, it is time for you to make sure you look at your calendar and give it at least one hour to sit down with your partner and discuss your finances. You need to make sure that you have every um, you track your incomes your expenses you make sure you know every single balance on your debt um, savings loan anything everything you are going to need everything right down on the table before you begin as you can see the financial planning sheet has three sections short-term goals long-term goals and action plan here you're going to write your financial plan for the year that are short-term long-term and your action plan. The next sheet it's a yearly financial goal and the same breakdown financial goals time frame action plan. The paycheck schedule we use this to write down the dates you're going to get paid and then this sheet will be useful because you will be able to when you write your monthly budget look at this calendar and see when you're gonna get paid if you get paid weekly or bi-weekly. You can also see the month that you will be able to, you might get three paychecks in a month and then you can think of what you want to do. So this is like an overview of when you're going to, when your paycheck will be for each month and then use this as a, as a tool for the future. The yearly payment tracker, this is where you write your bills when they're due and the amount. So for example, if your phone bill is due on the 25th of each month and the amount is, I don't know, $40, you keep track of it right here when you pay it. Track, 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 track. A full debt overview helps you. This is like the rough one for me. This was pretty kind of rough because when I wrote every single debt that I owe and like the balance and the monthly payment and the interest rate, it, it was a shocker for me how much debt I was in and how much accounts I have. So this it, this debt overview sheet, it's a good one. It's a good one for you to print and to really write down every single debt you owe and the balance. This is going to be like an eye opener. The pay, debt pay down. How you pay your debt is up to you. You can follow the snowball method, the avalanche method. It is up to you. You're going to write down the debt, the credit, the balance, interest rate, and the minimum payment. 
and the goal payment you have. And once it's paid off, you will check it here. And then here, you write down the total, which again for me was, was a shocking thing for me to do. The debt priority sheet, once you have sit down and come up with a plan on how you're going to pay your debt, you're going to prioritize your debt. Again, if you're going to use the snowball, the avalanche, or my favorite, if it gives you the, the debt that gives you the most anxiety, you write it down. You would write the debt here first, the first one you want to attack, the balance, the interest rate, minimum payment. If you're going to do the snowball method, pay, you use that column right here and the payoff that you have. So this right here is the level, which one is first, second, third. The snowball calculator is a sheet that where you can write down your bill, the credit type, account number, and this is more for your personal information. And you can print more than once, however many accounts you have, you can you need to print. And here it was snowball, but if you want to use the debt calculator, it's the same sheet but just different titles. Uh, I have people asking me to remove the snowball, blah blah blah, so I did it. The snowball tracking sheet, if you want to use to keep track of your debt, this is really good for motivation and to keep a visual. So I actually print this. Um, this kind of the same style for saving goals. And this is the saving log where you will put the date, the description, the category, and the amount for your savings. This is, it comes with a yearly saving goal. So I, if you have a, a purpose for saving for a thousand dollars for an emergency, it has one, two, three, twelve, um, spaces, and then you can just fill in as you go. A large expense tracker sheet um once you use this sheet right here and you have a plan of you look have a, like a plan of what the year is going to look for you you can write out the big big expenses here so for example if our next sheet is a financial breakdown sheet and this is this sheet you can use um at the end of each month to track down the amount of income, the amount of expenses, the snowball method payment and savings. Um, so each month you have like this sheet that will, you can skim through each, whenever you can and have every single month written down. And as you can see here, I'm not sure if you guys can recognize, but income, it's this color expenses like the pink red, saving will be green. And the cash envelope template here that you more, more than welcome to print and use as cash. The next sheet, it's a monthly budget sheet. Um, you write down here your month, your income. Your income, again, is blue. Expenses, like a red. I don't know, pink? I'm going to say pink. I don't know, red. Green is saving, and the cash envelopes will be, um, I, can, I don't know what the color is. Pell color, this color right here. <laughs> So here we have a fixed month expenses. You will write them here, the date they're due, the amount you budgeted for, and then the actual amount you paid at the end of the month or whenever. You write them here total. At the end of the month, when you are completely done and you are closing out for the month, your budget for the month, you will add for here, for example, expenses, what you have budgeted, you add this to right here, here. In here and that's the total you want to put here at the end when you're closing out your budget you're going to add the total for this and this and then add it here the same goes with income you will add the total income here and the total income here And then when it comes to saving, if you have budgeted to save, you write down what you have budgeted and then the actual, and then the green right here, the total will go here and here. And then for the cash envelope, which is a system that I use, you don't have to use the cash envelope system if you don't want to, but for those who do, when you withdraw your cash from each category, write the category here, the budgeting amount and the actual, and again, the total go here and here, and then the beginning of the month you have this column filled at the end of the month when you're closing out your budget your total will be here 
and then you could probably use this sheet here for to keep track of it. You don't have to use every single sheet that's in the binder, just the one that you like and it works for you and your family. And any note that you have, normally I write here notes like like reminders and, and things like that or to keep track of things because I am very forgetful sometimes. Um, if you prefer to do a budget um, by paycheck, like budgeting just your paycheck, then you put the income here, like if it's your um, Joyce's paycheck, the amount you have budgeted for and what actually was, and the same, you have like the same spaces here. So for paycheck one, you pay rent, um, Hulu, or whatever you write it here, and other expenses. And then you do the same thing. You add this to, put it here, the savings, put it here, and so on. And then the notes is for paycheck two. So you can print this as many as you want. We use this, um, we will be using this to when our my husband switches jobs, so this is very detailed too so I, if you're starting um, to budget I would recommend you use the paycheck budgeting system which is because that it shows it shows you what where your paycheck is going and it helps you track your um, expenses versus monthly but you can do whichever you want then this is the cash envelope tracker um, this is something that I spoke about before in this video for us so I'll probably put download it so you guys can really look into the details about it when I did a, a cash envelope budgeting seminar so here you write the month you write the categories I recommend that you do no if you're starting with the cash envelope you don't do more than six categories so you write food household personal care kids um, whichever any the amount you budget which will be the amount you budget on the sheet here Okay, right, so next, it will be, after you have your, if you do this a monthly um, budget, you write the total right here. If you prefer to pull all your cash for the envelopes one time out of the month, then you will use this sheet. But if you feel like you have to look at your finances and your budget, you prefer to pull your cash every two weeks, every weekly. Um, I recommend by weekly you will go here and then you will write the categories again paycheck one how much you're gonna pull and paycheck two and then this and this right here should be the same amount so this is one of my favorite sheets too uh, how much cash do I need well for each time you go to the bank sometimes you want to have the set um, bill count so you write them on here how much you're gonna pull so if you need like if you're gonna pull a hundred you want um, probably twenties or do you want you know two fifties it's up to you and then you will write down the value and the bill count here and then you will tear this down and take it to the bank with you and then that way when you pull the cash you have the sack cash that will go to each um, envelope this is just a cash envelope tracker so you can keep track of your spending for your envelopes and this is just the monthly cash expense, the next sheet right here. And if you want to keep track of your monthly cash spending, again, go here and then see where it says envelope. You write it down here. The next would be monthly income tracker to track all your monthly income, your monthly expenses, your monthly debt tracker, your monthly saving tracker, your monthly money recap and this is just a sheet that if you want to keep aside you can write down the month the income the expense the savings the envelopes again the same method that we had up here but just for you for your personal use um, the amount you save from the cash off the cash envelopes the total savings the total expenses the total income the total debit any note that you have um, and that you want to write down and then here you have a thermometer which you can find your goals and just keep track of it, which is something that I haven't used myself. And that's all that's on the 
budget binder uh, we do have other sheets available in our shelf and I will go over them and any questions that you have just please send them to me at my stay at home adventures at gmail.com thank you